Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome back. So today I'm doing another full face off at one brand. And it's a brand that you guys kind of gave me mixed reactions about. So on one side I had people loving the brand, on the other people were like, no, I don't like it. For certain reasons, some reasons I absolutely understand and I'll kind of go through them as I go through the product. So today we're doing a full face of Glossier. Glossier, I think that's how you say it. So Glossier to me is a brand, when I think of them, I think of skincare. I always think of their um, AHA, BHA um, uh, toner thing. <laughs> so when I realized they did like quite a bit of makeup, like I knew they did a few bits, like some lip color, some cheek color. I thought I'll get my hands on some. So I got a few bits and I was like, okay, I quite like these, let me try more stuff. And again, I'll explain as I go through all of that. So we have a full face today. Just before we get into that, if you don't know who I am, my name is Robert, I'm a professional makeup artist here on YouTube and also in real life. And it is my goal to help you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really good at makeup. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, then please consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, let's do it. So the first product I'm gonna take is the Bubble Wrap Eye and Lip Plumper. Plumping, sorry, cream. So I'm gonna use a tiny bit of this around my eyes and my lips, cause it's eye and lip. Um, I'm not wearing my rings today cause I put my rings on and it was like my fingers started going blue. Um, I don't think I've put on that much weight, but maybe I have. <laughs> Sometimes my fingers just swell up when I'm really hot and it's really warm in this room today. So that's my excuse. The consistency of this is quite, um, it's more towards like a watery texture, but it does definitely have a kind of thickness to it. That sounds really strange. So I'm hoping that it's gonna help to kind of smooth out the texture of the skin around the eye. I do get quite dehydrated skin on the inside corners of my eyes as well. So I'm hoping it's gonna help that. Hi guys, sorry to interrupt, but I'm sitting here editing this video, watching me put eye cream on, like I'm trying to beat up my eyes. What am I doing? <laughs> Who puts on eye cream like that? Please be careful around your eye area. This is me just trying to get eye cream on really quick acting like I have no skin around my eyes. It's awful, I don't know what's going on. I'm tired, listen, that's my excuse, we're all tired. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's get back to it. So I asked you guys on the community tab here on my YouTube channel, what kind of um, brands you would like to see a full face off. Um, and I had already bought the Glossier stuff so I knew I was gonna do that. And a lot of you were recommending it. And a lot of people were saying, no, don't, because they're really expensive one, which they absolutely are quite pricey. Are they more expensive than most makeup brands? High end? Not really, they kind of meet in the middle. But then a lot of you were also saying that it's a brand that's for models. So what they mean by that is that the foundation isn't enough coverage, um, everything isn't enough coverage basically, um, which is fine. I personally, as an individual, I don't like full coverage. I, outside of um, YouTube, you know, on camera, I'll use full coverage because lights, lights everywhere, smacking me in the face and showing off everything. So it's great to have full coverage on camera. I personally like a sheer coverage. Even if I have blemishes, I like a sheer coverage. That's why I kind of gravitated towards this brand. Did I spend more than I would have liked to? Yes. Everyone's version of um, what's affordable and what isn't is very different. So I chose a sample of a priming moisturizer. I should have opened this on camera for you guys, but it's just a tear thing. Um, now I've had this before. The reason I didn't buy the whole thing is because when I had it before, I didn't like the smell. Um, I thought it was a little bit strange. And now I'm thinking maybe it went off because this doesn't actually have a smell. Um, yes. So there were a few options for primers on the website. This one just seemed a little bit more like my kind of thing because it was more liquid based. It wasn't so heavy. And being dehydrated but super oily, I do like my hydration without over hydration and without product hanging around on the skin. So the concealer I got is the Stretch Concealer that comes in a small tub like this. And this is a shade G8. I actually found it was really easy to choose my shade online, whereas some brands actually find it quite difficult, like I previously done a video about e.l.f. and I found that quite difficult to find my shade. This is one of the products that I ordered before I kind of wanted to do a full face video, so I have used it once or twice, and I do actually really like it. I find it's really, really natural, and it just slightly corrects the colour around the eye without being over the top, it looks like skin, it blends really nicely. The brush I'm using is the 4D HD Precision Brush from Sigma. And it has this, do I really have to do this? Do I have to stay like that? And yeah, I do, okay, that's annoying. It has this like um, triangular, like um, pyramid shape on the end. So it's really, really good to get right into 
the little creases and crevices with precision. Oh, that's why it's called a precision brush. And I do actually have um, a Sigma code. I always forget, it's Robert10 for 10% off. I'll leave that below for you guys. Um, and it's an affiliate link. After reviewing the Sigma collection of Jordan Liberty, I was like, why don't I use my Sigma brushes enough? Um, I really, really liked them. So it just really gives that really nice, really natural correction. Because it is quite natural, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna conceal my eyes first, then I'm gonna go in with my foundation, and then any areas that I feel needs a little bit more coverage, I'll use my concealer again on top. So next up, the perfect skin tint. This is the shade G8 as well. Again, super easy to find the shade online. They have pictures of models like most people do um, with, with the shade. Oh, I just want to mention, I always have to mention, I bought all of this with my own money. No um, sponsorship, nothing like that. It's um, I definitely paid for it with my own money. Um, so think of this almost like mac face and body like it has that really watery um tint not as oily um more on the side of like the dior face and body if you've ever used that before it is very very sheer so i'm using it with my flat kabuki brush because i want a little bit more coverage than what it gives and the flat brush um that's quite dense and close to the skin gives you that um coverage but i've been looking for a brand for quite a long time where I could buy a foundation or buy a concealer that literally just tints my skin. Um, and they, they've got it perfect, it is, it is skin tint. I still wanted to see my skin, I still wanted to see blemishes, not look like I'm wearing foundation, and not look like I'm wearing concealer, but still have that even tone to my skin. And this does it perfectly. Again, I really, really like natural coverage. So if you guys like a full coverage or coverage in general, <laughs> this might not be the best thing. But if you just have a tiny bit of redness on the cheek, this is probably a really great foundation for you. I don't know what's happened to my skin. I've definitely had some kind of skin breakout. And I can see exactly what people mean when they say it is for, um, it's makeup for models because it, it, you, can, you can see my skin. You can completely see everything, every mark, every um, pore, every like, um, here. You can see everything. You can see my skin texture still. You can see like um, redness. You can see everything on my skin. But I'm not. I'm not against that. I quite like seeing that. Um, and again, my my studio lights here intensify it. One thing I would say is the shine that you're seeing now isn't just because of the lights, it's genuinely that shiny. It doesn't feel greasy, it feels watery. So I'm definitely gonna powder it because um, this is a no for me. <laughs> I like, I like a little bit of shine. So just in those areas I feel I need a little bit more coverage, I'm just gonna go back in with my stretch concealer. I honestly feel like you can probably use this concealer on the whole face if you needed to, if you wanted a little bit more coverage. Something I haven't done yet is I've actually got a new mattifying primer, which isn't Glossier, so I'd love to see how this is with a, a mattifying primer underneath. Might be a little bit more, um, the, the kind of moisture might be a little bit toned down, but I don't hate it. I would gladly powder my T-zone and a little bit here and call it a day. Um, Yes, okay, so and next up, this is the Cloud Paint in the shade Dusk. I've seen a few of these and they look really nice. I used one ages ago, not on myself, and they were very highly pigmented, so I'm gonna be really careful with how much I use. I'm gonna go back in with my stippling, my flat kabuki, and I've got a little bit on the back of my hand here, and I'm just gonna kind of take a little bit and tap away any excess, first of all, just to see how much pigmentation comes off. And I'm kind of want to keep it right down here for now. Compared to like the foundation, I think I was expecting less pigmentation, but that is quite strong in colour. And I have a longer face, so I like to take any blush or bronzer a little bit more across rather than down because that just elongates the face. So I'm just going to add a little bit here, but I don't want to add too much in the apples of my cheeks because I'm getting like these kind of like, what are these called? Them. If I plump up this area here, it makes that look a little bit worse. So I try not to plump up the apples of my cheeks too much. Okay, I like it. I'm not mad at it. So next up, we have the Dew Effect Highlighter. Um, this is the shade, what is the shade? Quartz. So it has kind of like this oil. Oh, oh no, I just made it look horrible. It has like this kind of like hydrating like oil bit in the middle here. And then around the edge is the highlighter itself. Now I already feel like my skin's quite shiny. So let's see if this um, does anything extra. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna grab a brush um, with artificial hairs and just kind of pat that on. It doesn't look like colour. I wouldn't say there's colour to this. It looks more like um, 
shine, like skin shine. Can you see it just kind of looks like wet skin? Actually on camera, it's kind of coming out a little bit silvery, but it's really not. I mean, I would happily wear this by itself. I quite like that. I like that it's not glittery. It's not insanely colorful. Didn't really interfere with a product underneath, which is nice. It didn't take off my foundation, even though I like rubbed it on there. I'm just having to kind of go back over the bridge of my nose here. I definitely feel like I wouldn't use that primer again with this, only because my it's not for my skin. I need a, a mattifying primer. Um, I didn't actually see if they did one on a website, to be honest. Okay, so let's mattify a little bit. This is, I think this was medium or something like that. So it says on the bottom, it covers the shade G8 to G10. And inside it has like this net kind of dispenser, like the mesh, um, which I believe is meant to help disperse product um, better. I'm not a fan of it. I just want to get my powder out, you know? <laughs> This isn't like crazy mattifying. It's quite a fine powder. And actually I've taken it over the highlighter and my highlighter still shows through. What's everyone thinking? What's everyone's um, frame of mind? I quite like it. I quite like natural. That's just like, I'm about natural, you know? So this, I quite like that. I quite like how the powder hasn't completely mattified my face. Hi, we're this close to my face now. So let's talk about brows. I purchased three brow products on my initial Glossier purchase and I got um, two brow gels that are called um, Boy Brow. Um, and they're not really a gel, they're more like a cream texture and a brow pen. I had a black brow gel and a clear one. So I really like a clear one. I think it's really amazing. It keeps the brows up. I used the black one and I really wasn't a fan only because personal preference. I find that with most brands that do these brow gels of color, it mattifies the brow and it has this really strange kind of um, texture and color in terms of finish. I don't like that. I like brows to look like hair. Hair has a shine to it. It has um, movement. It has more like depth to it than one flat color. So I personally didn't like the black one. I'll keep it because it might be good to like um, do the like the tails off my brows or something like that. But we're going to use a clear one today and we're going to use the brow pen. I'm just going to brush through my brows and we're going to pen them in first and then use a brow gel afterwards. Just because I found with a pen, you can't draw over the brow gel, like most brow gels. Um, so we're gonna go for quite a thick, um, bushy brow. Nothing too precise, nothing too, I just want it to look like this, but but more um, shapely. So this is the shade black in the brow flick, is it called? Brow flick, yeah. I'm just gonna do stroke by stroke. I'm gonna let that set a little bit. Um, like these here are quite like harsh and then I'm gonna brush through them to kind of soften them up. Okay, so let's go in with the boy brow. I like to go against the growth of my brows first. Trying to get right through, get right to the root of those brows. Give it a moment to kind of dry and set. And then I just like to roll through and apply a good coating of that to the brows. I have been using this quite a lot, not as much as my um, my Korean brow gel that I actually really like, um, but I have been using this one and I find it does keep my brow hairs up. Nice, I just, just want a natural brow that looks um, normal. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, not normal, but you know. Okay, so let's talk about the eye makeup. So for some reason, I, I bought these two colors. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. So these are the Sky Wash eyeshadows, and it's in the shade Lawn and Terra. Lawn being the green, and Terra being this one. I guess like terracotta. Yeah. So let's give them a go. I'm gonna use a tiny bit at a time. And since we're being like all natural, let's just do like a wash of color here. Okay. It. Okay. I wasn't expecting it to blend as far as it did. I thought it was gonna dry quite matte quite quickly, but it doesn't. So you actually have quite a bit of playtime. You probably need less product. I haven't used an eye primer because um, cream eyeshadows make good primers anyway. So the applicator gets very messy very quickly. I 
think the idea, obviously, with these eyeshadows isn't to do, like, a full-on smoky eye and to have, like, a dramatic, like, cut crease or whatever. I think it's more to have, like, a natural wash of colour, a tint of colour to the skin. I think that's this brand's, like, um, when it comes to the makeup, like, their thing is to tint the skin. Everything is a subtle wash of colour, which I think sometimes can be a welcome change in, you know, the current, like, makeup situation we're in. Okay, so let's take the green. I'm thinking from the texture of the eyeshadows, what I've kind of felt so far. I'm gonna put the green on my lid and then I'm gonna wait for it to set a little bit because I feel like it's set into this waxy texture. Then I'm gonna blend it out. Then I'm gonna apply more color on top to get more of a full color. thing is though, things like lime green and like blue and things like that, you don't really want a wash of colour because they can be quite, um, they can look quite horrible on a skin. Like a green, a wash of lime green on the lid can look like, you know, unhealthy. <laughs> you can look a little bit sick. One thing I would say is I would recommend they change their applicator. This kind of like, basic kind of lip glossy applicator doesn't give you enough product. They even need one with a dip on the tip so it kind of stores product or like one of those ones with a little hole in the middle to um, hold on to product and dispense it slower. Cause this, I need to keep going in and in. I've been back in four times. I honestly don't think these allow for much colour at all. The first layer is kind of washy, it's kind of wish-washy. And when you build up product on top, it's kind of like, it gets a little bit patchy in some areas. I feel like it's gonna crumble off my lid, if I'm honest. I mean, the colour's not terrible, and from here, it looks kind of fine. Actually, it feels quite dry. Nothing's coming off my finger. No. No, very, it's, it looks crispy, and I think that's my eyelid texture, but it's just not very, it's, it's just not very nice. Okay, let's move on, shall we? <laughs> so I have the Techno Gel Eye Pencil, um, colour slide, it says, in the shade Brack, B-R-A-K. So let's kind of like, do on the outside corner. See if we can get some kind of smudging going on here. This definitely feels quite waterproof. Okay, the, pe <sighs> the pencil does not want to blend. It's very, very like, this is where I am and this is where I'm staying. It just snapped off. Wait a minute. What? Okay, listen, that top must have been dry because this just went on like butter. Oh my God, what the hell? Oh, and look at it blend. What the actual? Okay, the top must have been really dry because now it's going on so smoothly. It literally feels like a gel liner. Okay, texture's still a bit grabby. It's like grabbing to certain bits and, and not moving. I mean, it's better than it was a second ago, but it's still not the best. Okay. So I also got the Lash Slick, which is one of the mascaras. And the brush is rubber, and it has more of a triangle shape to it, you know, that kind of triangle shape. <laughs> Brushes like this are very nice and natural. They're very separating, which makes sense for the brand. Wait, are there fibres in this? Yeah, okay, so yeah, there's um, fibres in that mascara. I personally don't like fibres in mascara because I just don't. I think they're horrible. Um, and it kind of gives you like this really clumpy ends. Like it looks like your lash goes up this way. Oh, literally like this brush. Like here's a lash and then here's a fibre. Like I really don't like, I mean, if you don't mind fibres, it's a good mascara. I mean, lashes just look like they're going everywhere. Okay, so let's talk about lips. I have the Vinylic lip, I don't know how to say it. And it says Glossier Play. I don't know, that must be like their separate thing. It's the same as the um, pencil. And this is the shade Pony. Hmm. 
Of course, I had to go for a really natural colour. It's a little bit sticky. It's not too sticky. It's not too uncomfortable. I also have a little bit of a gloss just in clear, just to try. It smells good. Oh, oh. I don't think I need any more than that. It's very wet. And I also have the Soothing Face Mist. So this is a rose water spray. So I'm going to give that a little bit of spray to finish. And then I might just repowder some areas. <coughs> okay, so... <coughs> so if you don't like the smell of... Um, rose <laughs> or rose water definitely don't get that i think i sprayed a little bit too much it's quite a strong fragrance but it's, it smells nice it looks quite nice on the skin as well it doesn't matter five areas where i just need to be matte so overall as a brand let's talk about this let's let's summarize skin i absolutely love i think even now, even still, that highlighter is really, really nice. It's not too textured on the skin. The foundation I personally really like. The um, concealer I personally really like. Um, I noticed it's not sitting too well on a bridge of my nose, like most foundations. And also the primer I used was quite hydrating. I feel like if I maybe used a more mattifying primer, we would get a better result. Um, the eyes... <laughs> <laughs> if you want a wash of colour on your lid, literally a wash, you don't want to blend it, anything like that, then absolutely go for this. Um, not this look. Um, but the colours, I think the orange is quite a nice colour. They have some more neutral tones on there. Don't try and put any other product on top of it. However, it has this kind of very dry, will kind of fade away if you try and use something on top. Pencil, I would stay away from. Mascara, I would also stay away from. I really like that kind of brush. I think it's a really non-messy, non-goopy mascara. If there weren't fibres in it, personal preference, I would buy it again. But because there are fibres in it, I don't like it. I think they look like an unorganised um, fluff on your lashes. Especially with a brush that has quite a few gaps in between each um, hair. It's not really hair because it's plastic, but that's fine. But with a fibre, you want to comb it through the lash and have it extend onto your lash, if that makes sense. If you have that much gap, there could be a fibre sitting in between the, you know, hairs like this, and then you're brushing it through and it's just going anywhere. I also find some fibres can gather at the end of your lash as well. So you end up just, see, you end up picking up, picking off all those lashes. Lip product, really nice, really comfortable. I don't even realise it's there. Really nice colour. I would actually use that gloss as a little dab just on my lips any other time. Highlighter, beautiful. All, all skin products, Yes, 100%. Even that rose water spray that I nearly choked on because I used too much. But I really, really like that. Brows, absolutely amazing. Just for eyes, I think they need to revisit, reformulate, change the applicator on the eyeshadows would be nice. That's it, guys. Let me know what you think below. Let me know what you think of this. Um I look. Uh, let me know if you own any products. Would you consider buying products from Glossier? Let me know everything. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I have some more product reviews here for you guys and some other interesting videos as well. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you very soon. Bye.